Hi, Odyssey Camper here. Today I want to talk about the mattresses I've been using on my cot and on the bed that I built into the van. It's about 5 degrees out, the wind is blowing at roughly 40 miles an hour, so it's not a good day to film outdoors. So I will do this one inside my office with the shaky cam. <laughs> Alright, so the first mattress up is the one that originally came with the Coleman cot. And there's my Coleman comfort cot over in the corner there. So this mattress has held up well and it's actually quite comfortable on the cot, but I wanted to upgrade it and uh, if I give it a little squeeze I can see it's kind of really easy to squeeze, it's thin, and it's starting to show a little bit of wear in that when I lay down on it I can feel some depressed areas. So now uh, I decided to upgrade that and I went with this Teton mattress which is designed to sleep on the ground and the foam on it is a little bit thicker. It's also a little bit denser and so it's more comfortable on the cot but it's actually uh, pretty comfortable on the built-in bed that I made in the van so that's got a hard surface under it and the Teton mattress is uh, really almost enough um, but I wanted to go all out and build a really comfy system so I'll show you what I did. I use this now for the top layer of the bed. Underneath it I use this light speed mattress. Now I'll put links down below if you want to check these out online. I think each one of those mattresses was about 50 bucks and if I were to spend the money I would spend it on the light speed. First of all it's got an R rating on it of 3.0 which uh, when I used it this winter I didn't notice uh, I wasn't cold from below at all and you know sometimes when you're laying on a cold surface that cold creeps into your back and whatnot and it did a pretty good job of insulating me and it's a self-inflating mattress. What that means is it's full of foam and when you open it you open this little valve and it unrolls and it automatically inflates and then on top of it to get a little more support you can blow into the valve you can hear it hiss here and that'll if you blow into that that'll give you a little bit more support now I'm able I weigh you know, last time I checked like 250 pounds I can lay on top of this thing and it supports me on my side and you can see it's it's pretty dense it's not that thick and because of, I guess, the way they compartmentalize the air in there, when you lay on it on the side, you never bottom out. So I'm, I've been very happy with it. It's actually got an extra raised padded area for where you would put your head. I suppose you could get by without a pillow, but I used a pillow with it. So with my bed system that I'm currently using, the bottom layer is Trex composite, which is like hard, like wood. And I put that air mattress on top of it. Um, I've actually put an intermediate foam layer using uh, dense foam pads but I only do that uh, so that no damage occurs to the mattress so it doesn't get torn or anything. So that's the bottom layer and also if the mattress ever went flat the foam layer on the bottom would provide some support. So it goes light speed mattress and then on top of it this Teton mattress and the two stay together pretty well with the sleeping bags on top. And I was warm and toasty all winter and uh, in my winter camping. It's very comfortable to lay on. Uh, didn't have any problems sleeping. Didn't wake up with any stiff spots, which you guys over 50, you're going to know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> when I woke up, I was still uh, able to get out of bed. Um, so yeah, I've been very happy with that. So those of you that have the Coleman Comfort Cut, um, and you know that was my recommendation, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it works great, um, but if you have that and you're looking for a little bit of an upgrade for a little bit money more, I would go with the Teton mattress. If you're looking for just one mattress to lay on a hard surface, it would be the light speed. I find using them together, uh, you, you get some nice cushion on top. It's almost like a foam topper on a mattress at home. And then your harder, more supportive mattress underneath. I find that's the best combination. Plus your sleeping bag, and you're sleeping great. So. Hopefully that helps. Uh, I jumped ahead a little bit on the bed build by going to the mattress because I wanted anybody that's building the bed currently to, to know about that option. And I kind of like the way the Teton's set up because if it's summer and whatever, you're sweating on it, you spill something on it, you can remove the cover and wash it. So that's a nice feature. All right, I hope this helps you out. And uh, soon when the weather warms up a little bit and the snow and ice melts, I will do a video about the complete bed build. Talk to you soon.